Hey everyone, how's it going? Whether you're an experienced drone pilot or you're just starting out with drones, the Quick Shots mode is an amazing way to capture cinematic footage. It's really easy to do and most definitely produces outstanding results. Let's jump right in. So what actually are Quick Shots? Well, they're automated moves that allow the drone to create a short video around a subject and they can then be run through the DJI Fly app to make a short edit, but more on that later. Let's take a look how the Quick Shots function actually works. You will need to take off before you try to enter Quick Shots. As you can see, the drone is telling us it's unable to enter the Quick Shots mode when not in flight. The Quick Shots can be found by pressing the film icon, and then down here you can see we have Quick Shots. There are six different Quick Shots you can take, which are Drony, Rocket, Circle, Helix, Boomerang, and Asteroid. Let's take a look at how each of them works. So first up is the Drony, and this is when the drone is focused on a subject and gradually moves backwards to reveal the surroundings. To select a point of interest, simply drag your finger over the object you want the drone to focus on and it will appear in a green box. You can also change the distance up to 120 meters, so how far you want the drone to fly backwards. Now, if we press start, the drone counts down and starts Three, the video. Two, one. You can check the progress using the progress bar here on the right. The great thing about these modes is that after each movement, the drone flies back automatically to where that quick shot started, so you don't have to fly back yourself. Next up we have Rocket, and this is when the drone flies above your subject to a preset altitude. And once again you can change the altitude to up to 120 meters. 3, 2, 1. There we go, the drone is now going to fly over the top of it to 30 meters. Third we have the circle, which is when the drone rotates around the subject in one full circle. Once again we select the subject as normal, but this time we have the option of which direction we want the drone to rotate by pressing one of the arrows here. Three, two, one. And there we go, the drone is going to rotate 360 degrees and end up in the same place where it started. The fourth one is my personal favourite, Helix. Here we have the drone rotating around the subject similar to the circle, but this time the drone also moves further away from the subject as it rotates. Here you also have the option to change the direction and also the maximum radius of the Helix rotation. Three, two, one. Next up is the boomerang, and this is when the drone flies in an elliptical shape, starting close to the object, flying around it further away, and then returning back while coming closer. In this one, we don't have the option to change the distance because the distance is already preset, but you can change the direction of flight. Three, two, one. Finally, we have Asteroid, which is a bit different to all the others. Here, the drone will fly backwards and upwards a bit, and will then actually take a photosphere 
which is a series of photos which get stitched together into a sphere. So as you can see here, the drone is slowly flying backwards and upwards, and will then take a photosphere. However, one thing to note is that the video quality in asteroid mode is set to 1080p, 25 frames per second, which can't be changed. Okay, so those are the six quick shots, and each creates a different video. If we go over into the DJI Fly app with the drone connected, you can see that if we press on one of the videos we just filmed, it gives an option to create quick shots. So this is actually an inbuilt function in the DJI Fly app, which will create a short edit of the video about 10 seconds long. So let's press on that, and as you can see, the system is now creating edit. The video quality on these is set to 1080p, which is a little bit disappointing because the original video can be filmed in 4K, so that's just something to bear in mind. So there we have it. The quick shots have the power to create amazing videos and are super easy to use. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please let me know by leaving a thumbs up on this video, and if you love all things drones, then I recommend you check out my channel where I have more videos about how to get more out of your drone flights. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.